I grew up in an Orthodox home. When my sister Debbie was a teenager, she used to go out after we ate um, Shabbos dinner on Friday night and go uptown and hang around in an area called The Wall. It was in front of our junior high school. Well, one Friday night, the police came and wanted everybody to go home to break it up and people wouldn't. So they wanted people to come down to the police station. So they were wanted to get my sister into the police car to go and she said, I'm sorry, I can't. It's Shabbos and I can't ride. And they said, lady, you got to go. She says, no, I can't ride. So they walked her to the police station. She gets inside and they want to have her sign a piece of paper saying that this is what happened and she needs to sign her name. And she said, officer, I just can't sign the name. I can't write on Shabbos. He said, lady, you have to sign the paper. And she said, I can't. Finally, he let her go. Debbie came home uh, and told my father what happened. And my father said, I'm very proud of you for sticking up for yourself. When I think about a time in my life that uh, I was proud to be Jewish, there's one that comes to mind. Uh, it happened in early, early 1990s. I was working down near Cambridge and I had come out to my car at the end of the day. And as I went to get in my car, it was I noticed a little black notebook uh, about this size sitting on the ground. And I picked it up and opened it up and there was just some papers in and some scribbles and notes and there was a birth certificate an actual birth certificate that, you know, and it had a name on it. So I said, someone's lost this, it's probably valuable. And I spent the next week, this was back in the early 90s when it was difficult to search for things. I searched, I found some possibilities, I called people, I got a hold of a person. That person came to, the, came to where I worked and we met and I gave him back. And he thanked me so much for returning and, and, and said, why did you do this? And I said, this is what my religion teaches me to do. And we went and I began a very short digression and, and talk about Baba Metzia and the laws of bailment and how we are responsible for anything that comes into our care. And what made me proud of was it was a time where he, his eyes were opened. It was the first time he'd ever talked to someone who was Jewish and he was really impressed by this sense of responsibility that we carried that he had not experienced in people in his own congregation and in others he had met. One of my favorite recent memories is the naming that we had for our daughter earlier this fall, which we hosted in the backyard of our house with lots of family and friends from our greater community, Jewish and non. And it was a beautiful day that wasn't forecast to be a beautiful day. And we really felt like it was a lovely thing to be able to have everyone in our home, in our backyard, and we had um, a ritual that we borrowed from friends of ours for holding our daughter on a talus and held by her great aunts and uncles and then also held around the edges with other family members and friends who were there and kind of bouncing her gently. And it was this lovely moment of feeling like we were connected to this Jewish ritual of naming and celebrating together while still really just in our backyard and that felt like a really special time.